Hey, what's up, guys? It's Johnny Nomad here. You know, I've always wanted to do a podcast, and it was something that was kind of rare to me at one point. Or I didn't understand it. it; was more like a radio type of thing. Podcast became heavy at one point, early two thousands, kind of faded away, and then came back strong again. And now we have Anchor, right? And Anchor is a beautiful platform to use on an app or on your desktop. And um, Anchor is like a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you uh, with great sponsors too, so you can get paid uh, to podcast. So if you're always wanting to start a podcast, make money doing it, uh, go to anchor.fm slash start uh, to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Yo guys, welcome to Johnny Nomad Podcast. Um, this is the Book of the Week edition podcast. Um, so the book I'm reading, let's get into it right away. The book I'm reading is called uh, The Millionaire Next Door. So I figured uh, this year I'm going to try to read a book a week. So that should be 52 books this year, maybe more. I'm a slow reader. I've always have been. I have a problem absorbing uh, content because my mind tends to race and run around. I'm sure a lot of you like that as well when you read. Um, so I need a particular space, place, and sometimes I actually got to play music for me to actually focus on reading, which is crazy. So um, what I do is I put my headphones in my ear, play some good music, and um, go ahead and start I start reading to my, my content. A lot of times I'm reading books with hip-hop, so it's, it's crazy. It's insane. It's cool. But this book I actually had in my collection already. So I had this book about mm, four to five years, I think. Yeah, I want to say so. I want to say I had this book for that long. Um, and I have, a, I have a pretty decent book collection. You know what I'm saying? I'm always buying books and reading them. Um, and one tip I got to tell you guys. Um, if you ever develop a book list, which I've always I've always done. I've always made a book list of, of, of books I've, I've always wanted. Um, don't buy them in bulk. And what I mean by that, don't buy the books all at once. Let's say you have like six or seven or eight books you want to get. Um... The reason why is because you're going to feel overwhelmed to read the books. And a lot of times what happens is that because you you have you feel overwhelmed and you put the books in your shelf or wherever you want to put them at, you tend not to read them. That's what hap- happens has happened to me. You know, I'm not sure it happens to everyone, but that's, that's what I've seen. That's what I've noticed from people around me and myself um, that I buy a stack of fucking books and then I don't read them for a very long time. I mean, a year can go by and I still have books that I haven't read yet. Um, so what I suggest is that buy the first book on your list and once you're done then you go back to the store or go to amazon however you want to do it kindle wise or whatever or even to, if it's an audiobook um and then buy the next one so then that way it's a beginning middle and end process for you you know hey i've completed this great and all right ne- on to my next one um once you know you have the books available to you and it's there you tend to say oh well i'll get to it it's there so, uh, yeah, that's a kind of, kind of a quick tip, you know what I'm saying? Um, have your list, but buy the books or however you want to absorb the content one at a time. That's what works for me. Um, but like I said, this book I had, I actually have most of the books I'm reading that you're going to see that I'm talking about um, the next few weeks. Actually, books I already have in my, in my catalog, in my collection of books. Um, I'm rereading them because they're great books. And I've noticed a lot of people are reading these books. And I say, damn, I already have had these books for years. Um, and I haven't applied shit that I learned from them. Isn't that amazing how routine and laziness and just regular fucked up shit happens? So when that happens, what you want to do is um, call yourself out. Hold yourself accountable. And then make sure that you understand that you need to go ahead and read the fucking thing. Make sure that you understand that you have to retain information and then from there apply it. Execution, right? So make sure the execution is there a thousand percent. Make sure that you're continuing to, to motivate and move yourself in different ways. So what I like to do, like I said earlier, is I definitely like to listen to hip hop while I'm reading my books. It just keeps my mind focused. And then at the same time, I make some, some notes. Um, I have a little black uh, leather bound book. I'll make some notes, some, some key things. I don't like to write in books. I, I know people who like to highlight and stuff and hey that's you more power to you do your thing 
uh, I personally, I take, I, books are sacred to me. Like, I hate seeing books on the floor. That bothers the fuck out of me. So when I see my kids with their books on the floor, like, I'm, I'm catching anxiety. It's like, yo, pick it up, respect the book. Like, like this is this is education. This is information. This is everything. You know what I'm saying? So that's any book that I see on the floor. I'm like, yo, pick it up, put it on the shelf. Like, let's make sure we keep it a high regard, right? So, um, but like I was saying, uh, which I forgot what I was saying. Damn. Got there in a little rant. But, um, yeah, most of the books I'm going to be reading is going to be uh, from my own collection already. Like I said, some of them I have on Kindle, which a lot of them I do. A lot of them I do have in paperback or in a hardcover. I'm not sure about you guys, but the hardcover books I love. I love hardcover books. I'm not really a soft uh, cover book fan. Um, but, of course, some books only come in soft cover, so I have to buy it. Like the one I have here, the Millionaire Next Door, soft cover, which is fine. Um, it's a great small read. But at the same time, what I have here is um, I don't like the, the covers. I don't like the covers. Like and my wife always gets on me. She's like, "Yo, what's the cover to the book?" I'm like, "Throw it away." I don't like the covers of the book. I like I like the hard, hard cover books to be the hard cover piece. Like you read the spine of the book and say, "Hey, what is this?" I should intrigue you more, not some picture. So a lot of times, uh, most of my books don't have the covers to them. So where I am taking the pictures of it and placing an IG. I may have to just get maybe a stock photo of the book. Um, but what I do is I'll show you guys the book that I have, which is the original book still, but give you a stock photo of the book so you guys could find it, of course, and on whatever platform you're gonna buy it from, whether that's online, from Amazon, or like, you know, going to Barnes & Noble was in person, which I still do as, as well. Like, I, I love the hunt of the book, or finding the biggest thing that's out. Um, so it's, it's an amazing, amazing thing. You know what I'm saying? So. This week, like I said, the mayor next door, the millionaire next door, and um, this is where you want to get your reading game up, like I said, and then hold yourself accountable and start using this uh, information to your everyday life, to uh, making sure that everything is uh, up to what your goals are, right? So my goal this year, like I said, was to read a book a week. I read slow, so it may be every other week, you know what I'm saying, because there's I have a lot on my plate, right? So I have the Couples Corner podcast. It's me and Lovely, my wife. I have the Giant Nomad podcast. It's just me, which you're listening to right now. Uh, then I have them. I'm editing and producing my wife's uh, YouTube channel, which is Lovely's Things. Uh, my son, Mason, he's coming out with a channel called Curious, Curious Things. So we're dabbling with some video ideas right now. So I'm editing and producing all that stuff. And then I also have a day job, guys, because guess what? You still have to work, right, until things take off. And um, the podcasts are doing well, which is amazing. I'm really happy about, actually. Um, and, and the goal this year is to make those things become the money makers and also diversing our our income and make sure we have different uh, revenue streams. Um, and we're making that happen. So um, quick story. Yesterday, Lovely and I decided to rework our workflow. Uh, she had a, her own desk area, which is kind of a built-in, and we have an apartment here in Atlanta. It's, it's a built-in, like in the hallway, um, desk area. It's really, kind of really cool. Um, and then she does her crafty things that she does with her channels about the home decor, crafts, and stuff like that. And then um, she tends to be back, back and forth between the dining room and the little kind of desk area, office space she has, because she's not, it's not big enough. It's big enough to have her desktop. She has an iMac, so it's big enough to have that. Um, but then she has her cricket, which is a, this thing that she creates vinyl from. She could pretty much do anything from, and put on any type of material, whether it's cups or shirts or towels or whatever. She can actually do monograms on them. And she, she found herself, herself taking up more space. So we've had a desk before that we got from IKEA, which was really cool corner desk with a little longer lips, almost like an L shape, but not. Well, it's kind of yeah, it's an L shape, but fits in the corner. So we took out the closet, rearranged our room, rearranged our closet as well. So cleaned out the closet, threw away a lot of shit. And also went ahead and rearranged the bedroom to fit um, this the desk and everything. And we moved the computer from the, the so-called main desk area office to our bedroom with the new desk. So now it fits there perfectly. Now I have a true spot. A lot of times I create my podcast either in the dining room, sitting down, chilling like I am now. Um, now I have a true spot where I can actually create because I also write books myself. I wrote Purpose this past year, which I'm, I'm happy about, and also a, a small little kind of eight-pager, um, I guess like PDF 
or maybe an essay you can call it called Inside Out. You can find it on Amazon on the Giant Nomad. And um, now the creative space, the workflow seems better. So now when we do our podcasts, it's under designated space. It's more of a creative zone for us, which before was kind of chaotic. So I, I suggest to you guys really work on your workflow space if you if you desire one, if you have one. Continue to really um, move around and, and shift yourself in ways that is going to give you whatever that means. You have to figure that out. You have to understand that the, the flow is, always has to be on the side of what's going to motivate you. Not what you may see in the desktop setup or anything like that from somebody else. No doubt you can get creative and, and, and put some elements of that into it. But the biggest thing with this workflow space is about being creative and, and, and having a space that works for you and not having it become a storage space because that can happen as well where you start throwing shit on the desk that doesn't belong in there. So our goal is to ensure that this space is sacred, that this space is solely for our creativity and working on and anything that's foreign that doesn't belong there should not go there. And we're going to hold ourselves accountable to that. We're going to make sure that we continue to move in a, in a place that's, hey, it's all about this is our business zone. This is our creativity zone. So this is it. Don't put any other objects as distracting or non-motivating. Because once you put a shirt on, on a chair or you throw your jacket on there or your pants, it becomes like a, a hanger of shit. And now you don't want to sit there anymore because you have all the shit on the fucking chair or throwing cups on the desk. So constant working your space every day ensure it's clean it's proper and it has everything that you want from it everything that you need from it to be creative and and going forward so the space that you are giving on and, and moving forward on is your create space your desired goals and and movement of passion that you have to go forward on so not to go too far deep into that but guys i was really happy with the what we came up with and what we just decided to turn our room into and the other desk area now is going to be more of a place for her creations and so we're really doing our workflow in a different way we're really inviting a creativity flow to our lifestyle now which we never did before. Not that we didn't want to, but we just didn't were mindful of it. And now we are. So, um, Lovely also has her books that she's reading. Uh, she does. She reads a lot of, of fiction. She's actually reading some of the books I already have in my catalog as well. She does want to read The Millionaire Next Door. So, you can follow her on Lovely's Things on IG. Or you can go to YouTube as well and follow her on Lovely's Things. Um, but the the greatest thing I have to say about working with my wife is that she's super fucking smart. She's smart, super brilliant. And bouncing ideas off of her and getting her perspective of things is really showing me and teaching me how I need to listen more and be more open to accept certain things and to move forward. Um, so it's it's phenomenal it's really great it's, it's a learning curve of course working with anybody is something is something challenging because people have different ideas and different ways they want to move um so trying to have that dance and have it choreographed for success it's pretty a cool damn thing i have to say so um yeah this week's book the millionaire next door um Hopefully I can finish this this week. I will notify you if I do on IG. And if I don't, I will notify you as well. Um, but this is a, a great start. I'm super happy. I already started my 2019 goals four weeks ago. And I'm going to continue to do so. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. And listen out for the next podcast coming up this week with special hip-hop artist, special guest, Shevin from Kansas.